Hey, all right, welcome back to KM6 LYW Radio. This is a show about amateur radio with an emphasis on data or digital modes, trying to reimagine them in the information age. Uh, today we've got a good one. We're going to take an off-the-shelf weather station and we're going to ham radioize it. We're going to put it on radio. Ham radioize? I don't even know if that's a word, but we're going to find out this time on KM6 LYW Radio. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. Is that a repeat? I need to start writing these down. Hey, welcome back. That's our cheap bumper music. Let's uh, let's see what we can do. Let me get the guitar out of the way here. And let's see what we can do to get this weather station. I've got one picture of one right here, and this is in the backyard. Uh, this weather station is like an Accurite something or other, you know, maybe a hundred bucks. Um, they have a little control head that you put inside your house that looks like this. It gives you the weather inside and out and rainfall, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, like I said, these are about a hundred bucks. Uh, this one happens to be, uh, this one, the, the sensor head actually transmit in, transmits in the ham radio range. So I don't know, maybe you can make an SDR uh, program that would uh, translate this as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this sensor head and this control module that all comes together and we're going to attach a Raspberry Pi to it, okay? And from there we're going to attach a radio or a TNC and we're going to actually transmit the weather information over amateur radio and uh, such that it'll show up actually on your HT here. It'll actually show up on your screen. Um, I've seen the weather in my backyard as far north as uh, maybe 150 miles from here. Um, that We're going to utilize APRS to get those packets out. And to, to begin with, you need a weather station. Um, I wish I knew the name of this one. That's an AccuWrite something. But ultimately what you do is you need the weather station, the Raspberry Pi, a radio, and three pieces of software. We're gonna go over those three pieces right now. The first of which is WeeWex. W-E-E-W-X, WeeWex. And uh, this page here is all of the uh, weather stations that are supported on WeeWex. Ideally, you get one that has a USB cable in it, okay? I really like these AccuWrite ones. They seem to be working really well. I've got a Raspberry Pi 4 plugged into this and it just pulls the data off, uh, weather data over USB every 10 minutes or so. And then the rest of our software chain is gonna reorganize that data into an APRS packet and actually transmit it on amateur radio. Uh, so it's gonna be pretty cool. So there's a bunch of them, you know, uh, Aramar, Davis, if you can afford Davis, get a Davis, I guess. Um, I'm still, the fine offset ones are good. I had one of these for a while. You know, some of these cheaper weather stations kind of have a half-life of maybe, you know, six or seven years and they kind of implode after a while. So, you know, invest a little bit of money in these. Um, there's a whole bunch of them here. So the Accurite ones I seem to like, a um, hundred and something dollars maybe on Amazon. And they all run WeeWex. So what we're going to do is we're going to install WeeWex on the Raspberry Pi and it's going to draw the data off of it and put it in a database. Now from there, from WeeWex, there's this cool plugin called the WeeWex W, I'm sorry, WeeWex dash APRS. And this pulls little records out of the database that we just talked about and formats them into an APRS packet payload. Okay, that way we can get access to that data, you know, just and, and look at it in an APRS manner. Uh, from there, there's another piece of software called APRS Send Weather. Uh, this is actually my software. <laughs> I wrote this. This takes that little packet that was pulled out of the weather database and actually sends it to a TNC, a KISS TNC, like the one we have uh, have right here. Um, we're going to send it to that, and it's actually going to transmit the weather packet over this ICOM 705, and we're going to see it displayed on uh, my HT radio, my APRS enabled HT radio, hopefully. So that's the three pieces of software we need. Okay, we need WeeWex, we need uh, WeeWex APRS, it's a plugin for WeeWex, and then we need uh, my little bit of software here, which actually completes the process and sends the APRS packet out over RF. So let's get started. I'm going to minimize this. Um, let me make sure. I've got a Raspberry Pi 4, 4 plugged into the weather station right now over USB. Um, so I'm going to secure shell out to my Pi 4. Hopefully that typing isn't too loud there. I can probably make this a little bigger so you guys can see this, huh? Let's see if we can just go all the way down. Let's take up some screen real estate. You guys, give me some feedback if this font is too tiny. You know, I kind of expect people to watch this on their TVs, not their phones, and that's probably a bad assumption. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is sudo root. Now you're the root user. You notice how your prompt change, your command prompt change to a pound sign? That means you are godlike. You are super user. 
Um, then I want you to apt-git install WeWix, apt-git install WeWix. Um, that's the software that we're going to use. It's part of, it comes with Raspberry Pi OS. Totally cool. Uh, this is saying, hey, it's already, it's already installed, so there's not a lot to do here. Uh, normally, when you install the RPM, it's going to ask you a few questions. What's your latitude, longitude, you know, or do you use Fahrenheit or Celsius, uh, stuff like that. Uh, so WeWix will configure itself and install. And hey, this is a drop-in edit. I did uh, forget one piece of software. I want you to also apt get install direwolf. Okay, that'll give us the uh, the TNC software to help uh, transfer that packet over the network. Um, then I want you to cd into the slash temp directory or folder on your Raspberry Pi that's plugged into your weather station. And I've got notes over here. I don't really type this fast. I've got notes just off screen here. And then I want you to type wget I'm going to highlight it here since it went by wget and this URL, okay, this is going to be in the notes. And this is the APRS uh, WeWix plugin. Uh, so this is actual software that plugs into WeWix and pulls those little data records out of there um, at, the, at the WeWix interval. And it creates a, an APRS packet and drops it in your file system in a special place. So we can forward it on with the third piece of software. <laughs> All right, you got that one? Uh, so we're going to actually install it right now. So what this did was download master.zip, which is that plugin for WeUX, and then we're just going to do we, let me get this, I'm going to make it so it doesn't scroll off real fast. We're going to do we underscore extension dash dash install equals master.zip, master.zip is the file we just downloaded. Um, it says finished installing extension, so we know it installed into WeWix. Um, at this point, you can uh, take a look at wewex.conf to make sure it's totally cool, you know, it's got all your information correct. What I like to do is go down to the very bottom of the file, and for, by default, it says include position. By default, it always says zero. Um, change that to a one. Uh, that way you get your position on the APRS maps. So when you go to APRS.fi, you'll see your weather station. Uh, physically where it is uh, on the map. Um, so, okay, so we know the extension is installed because we see the APRS uh, stanza inside the etc wewex, wewex .com, which is the file we are in right now. Let's quit out of that. That looks good. All right, this might actually work the first try. So at this point, um, you can do a uh, system CTL restart wewex, wewex. And that's going to restart we, the WeWex service. It'll reread that conf configuration file we just edited. And now WeWex is running, and uh, it should be generating a tiny little APRS packet. So if you change directory into slash dev shm and do an ls there, you're going to see a file here called APRS.pkt. We can just take a look at it. We don't have to. But uh, this, if you're into APRS, you should really notice you should know what this is this is a weather packet at least this is the payload of an APRS weather packet in fact you can see our position in here and this is a lot of the weather data it has you know, like temperature it's not really human readable but if you, if you squint a little bit you can kind of make it out so this is temperatures 94 and yeah it says 95 on the wall so that's accurate um, so this is our WeWex packet payload but this isn't enough this just uh, this is just the APRS WeWex plugin dropping this file on the server it, it doesn't go any further than that so it's you know, in that regard, it's kind of like, well, it never hit radio. It never got uploaded to the internet, uh, none of that. So APRS.pkt is there. Now we need the third piece of software, which is going to take that packet, put some headers on it, and, and set it to the internet, and also send it to RF, which is going to go out of this radio uh, with this other Raspberry Pi that we have right here, the DigiPi. Let me make sure that's in frame there. We'll get all this in frame. So DigiPi is actually, it's, in, uh, it's on the APRS frequency right now. So it's actually inconceivably it's set up correctly right now. All right, so the third piece of software. Um, first of all, I want you to CD to user local bin. I'm fast and loose with these commands because remember, I'm going to write them at the bottom of this here. So it makes, see, I, I'm cutting, cutting and pasting this, so you should be able to also. And then uh, now that I'm in user local bin folder, and I'm going to wget my bit of the software, and this is called APRS send weather. It's just a shell script that takes that little packet and sends it out to the internet and over RF. Okay, we downloaded it, and then I want you to do a change mod. This is going to make it executable, uh, APRS send weather. And then we're going to edit it. All right. It's actually all blown up. Forget what I'm doing right now. There's a bunch of extra spaces in here. This is this is this is VI magic. I can get rid of a bunch of spaces. Ignore this. <laughs> Substitute. Get rid of all these spaces. You know, I just might just be the wide carriage in here. No, there's a bunch of extra spaces in there. All right. So I want you to go down to like line 20. You know, after the description here, and it says where it says user serviceable parts. I want you to put your call sign. 
KM6, I don't even know my own call sign here, KM6LIW and your APRS password. Um, to generate your APRS password, you want to go to apps.magicbug.co.uk and enter your call sign in there and you're going to get, I didn't need to enter my call sign. KM6LYW, and you'll enter your call sign. I don't have to explain this to you guys. You guys are cool. All right, 22452. 22452 is my APRS password, and I'm going to put that in here. 22452. And your direwolf host name, direwolf host name. So this is the host name of the TNC uh, that, that's driving. It, it, it's just a fancy name for your Raspberry Pi that's driving your radio, okay? So the host name of this particular Raspberry Pi is called uh, just called DigiPi on my network. So I'm going to call it DigiPi. And get rid of that. Yeah, and one other drop-in edit. Um, if you have one Pi that's doing everything, it's running WeWex, and it's also your TNC, um, instead of using the host name of your DigiPi or your TNC, uh, the network name, I just use a local host. And that, that, that means it'll network back into itself. Uh, that's just if you're using one Pi for everything here. A local host is what you want. Otherwise, use the host name of your, uh, your DigiPi or the network name of your TNC. Okay, cool. Make sure all this stuff's... I'm going to write the file out. You can use Nano to edit files. I use VI to edit files. It's totally up to you how you want to do it. You know, Nano might be a little kinder and gentler for a new Linux user. All right, so we've got WeWex installed. We've got the APRS extension installed for WeWex, and we've got APRS SendWeather installed, which is my bit of software that's going to complete the process. And we configured all of these. We have my user and password, the host name of my TNC. Um... We know how to generate our APS password. At this point, we can exit. I, that means I'm going to become the Pi user again. You notice my command prompt is now a dollar sign. And what we can do is test this out. I'm going to cd user local bin. All right, first of all, we're going to make sure dev shared mem has an APRS.packet. You might we need to wait about 10 minutes, depending on the WeWex polling interval, uh, for WeWex to actually generate that packet. So waiting, waiting for that file to appear, APRS.pkt. Uh, we can just cat it out, make sure it has content in it. Yeah, there's an APRS string in it. So we, uh, the ex WeWex extension, APRS extension is pulling data out from WeWex and dropping it right here. So the last thing we need to do is run cd user local bin and then run my uh, APRS send weather command and I'm going to turn the HT on here because this is going to be the exciting finale to actually get weather data <laughs> pushed out here. All right, let me make it like this. All right, hopefully you'll be able to see everything. Um, all right, here we go. We're going to run it and God willing, this is going to work. All right, here we go. It's uploading the packet to the internet right now and at some point we are going to see an APRS packet transmit. Come on, here it goes. Here we go. Yeah, there it is. There is my weather packet just popped up on my radio. You can see it's from me. Um, if we go into station lists, um, hit enter. And I don't know if you can see this or not. Overwhelming amount of glare here. We see KM6LYW3 weather. Um, it gives me the date and the temperature is 95 degrees. And I can scroll through it, and, you know, the rain rate, all that good stuff. We can see all of that here on our APRS-enabled radio. So this could be a Kenwood radio, Yesu radio. ICOM doesn't support APRS. No idea why. It's just kind of how it works. Um, so we did it. And not only that, not only did we transmit an APRS packet over RF, we also sent it out over the internets. Let me get it out here. So if you go to APRS.fi, you will see your weather station. In fact, right here we see, well, it's kind of overwritten, KM6LYW-3. And we can see the temperature here. Uh, actually, this hasn't updated in a while. It was 88 when I last last packet sent. That's how fast temperatures are going up here. Um, you know, and you can go into info on your station and you can see the raw data coming out of it. These are the packets that came out. In fact, you should recognize this payload string from that file that was generated by the APRS WeWix plugin. So there it is, it's sent. So not only did it send out over RRF, it sent it to the internet so we can see it on APRS.fi as well. Okay, one more drop in edit. Yeah, there's a lot of moving port parts. So, so as a Pi user on your WeWix, uh, Raspberry Pi, the thing that's plugged in your weather station, I want you to run cron tab minus E. 
and then at the very bottom, uh, go ahead and put this line. This is going to run the uh, the sun weather script every ten at the top of every hour. So that's what that's what this does here. Um, yeah, I think this is all accurate. So it runs the APRS sun weather uh, script um, every hour. So you don't have to do it yourself. As a bonus, let's say you want to have a website for your. Uh, your weather station, WeWex will do that as well. It'll create a whole website. And if you have a web server, you can just copy the website out to the web server. So this updates every 10 minutes. Uh, this is WeWex generating this website. You see all the cool weather graphs, all your data, rain. You know, I, you know, I added some of these other images here, but uh, this is how this works as well. So this is WeWex, this totally cool piece of software. All right, we made an, uh, a ham radioized, that's a new word, we're gonna take it. A ham radioized weather station. We took an off the shelf weather station and made it to put it on amateur radio so you can see your weather, get your weather anywhere you have an amateur radio uh, within hundreds of, hundreds of miles. You know, these APRS packets can travel a long ways as they bounce through, uh, through the digipeters. All right, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, I know some of you are probably asking about the, you know, what is this DigiPi device? What is this Raspberry Pi? How did you make that a TNC? You know, it says DigiPi TNC. This is, uh, if we go to DigiPi, it's a, basically it's Raspberry Pi based data transceiver. Um, it's completely web based. All of the management and apps that you can run will, you know, display on your phone or tablet. Um, you don't need to be a Linux expert. And right now it's in TNC and APRS iGate mode, as you can see on the display there. Um, if you go to this, we actually got a new URL for this. It's uh, digipi.org. You can download it here. Right now it's for patrons of KM6 LYW Radio. So if you're channel patron, you know, even a couple of bucks, right? And, you know, you don't have to subscribe all the time or anything. I'm going to give you the, the, the download access to this SD card and you can put it in any Raspberry Pi and you add a little $12 screen to it and you, you get one of these. Assuming you can find a Raspberry Pi. I know it's, uh, they're like hen's teeth. They're fish eyelids. That's how scarce they are. Not very, not very common. All right. Hey, and speaking of patrons that have access to this DigiPi and all of these people are building DigiPies and sending me pictures. In fact, if you haven't sent me a picture of your DigiPi, please do. Uh, again, patreon.com slash KM6LYW radio get you access to that DigiPi image. Um, so Foo, Steve, Brian, Jake, Michael, Christopher, Tony, NW2W, Ryan, Bill, Ian, Jim, Brad, Douglas. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Simon, Don, Buddy. I really appreciate it. Hey, see, I got a new scroller here. Man, this is just a web browser, right? It's better than putting all this stuff in VI. <laughs> Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Jake, Mandrake, Robert. Uh, the support really is overwhelming. It just overwhelming. I, you know, I thought this would, would be a goof, you know, just start make a couple of ham radio videos, but uh, you guys have, have supported me so much. You're, in, you're enabling me. This is like a habit and you guys are my enablers. Appreciate it. Andrew, Larry, James, Marco, Andre, Ryan, Kenny. Thank you. Hal, Leonard. Oh, we got a space in front of Hal. Uh, Peaches Weeches. See, if you have a cool name, I'm probably going to read it. So who wouldn't read Peaches Weeches? Thank you, Peaches. Uh, Ken, Tom, a kiddo. Thank you very much. Randall, Paul, other Paul, Brian with the Y, thank you very much. Uh, Chris, all the way down to Chris Hurd, thank you very much, guys. Um, this has been another KM6 LIW radio production. I wasn't sure if this the transmitter might have jammed. Now nah, we're cool. All right. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know how your weather station projects go. You know, a lot of ham radio operators are, for some reason, really into similar hobbies. You know, it seems like a lot of them are into trains. I don't understand that one. It seems like a lot of ham radio operators are also, also weather nerds, really into the weather. So hopefully this resonates with some of you. Let me know if you build a ham radio enabled weather station. And uh, maybe I'll show some pictures of them on here. Uh, so, all right. My name is Craig. I'm in cool California and I am 